Hi everyone, welcome to Real Maya channel. Today I am going to show you Gutti Vankaya or Stuffed Vankaya Brinjal. Ingredients, I have taken 1 spoon salt and 1 spoon red chilli powder and half spoon mustard seeds and cumin seeds and pinch of turmeric. So these are the basic uh, ingredients we need for every curry. We need 3 spoons oil special ingredients i've taken roasted sesame seed powder half cup and one spoon coriander powder and one spoon jaggery this is optional i've taken brinjal or eggplant and i've given slit in middle you can cut the tip but the rest of the portion you can keep it now let's start the recipe so i'll be adding except seeds the rest of the ingredients salt turmeric and red chili powder so again guys remember i'm taking minimal ingredients because i prefer very simple food even though this is very popular food and everybody likes this Gutti Vanka is everyone's favorite I'm adding one spoon oil because that's already sesame seeds uh, so that contains a lot of oil in it so that's the reason I'm just adding one spoon oil just give them mix I've just taken the pan, added oil and the cumin seeds and the mustard seeds and they are already popped up and my tempering is ready. I'm going to fill this sesame seed powder mixed into the eggplants and just drop directly into the pan. So I finished filling, stuffing all eggplants and be careful while putting directly into this. You should uh, simmer your stove, I just forgot to tell you initially, but it's always good idea to simmer it and put it carefully. I'm used to it, so that's the reason I put directly and uh, put, finish off with all stuffing, then layer it. So my goal is to use just single pot so if I need to take one more plate and put all those into that then it will add up right that's the reason I put directly. Now I'm going to add some hot water into this. And I have some leftover powder so this after I get cooked half of it then I'm going to add them now I'm going to cover with the lid and simmer it again and wait until it gets cooked let's see after 10 minutes so this was on low flame yeah it's half cooked and just I'm going to add rest of the stuffed uh, leftover masala If you add this before then there was chances of getting everything burnt and it is always good idea to keep uh, keep the same size eggplants because what happens is the smaller one gets cooked and the bigger ones takes a while to get cooked and it's always good idea to take smaller ones for this kind of sabji because everyone can have uh, three, four, or as per needed eggplants. It's been sitting since six minutes, and let's see how it looks. Yeah, it looks cooked. So we have put less oil, but still there is oil. This is because the sesame seed all uh, they have oil in it, so that oil comes out. 
and this is almost it is cooked see it is softer now I'm going to take it into the serving bowl this is my mom's recipe like she used to always do this and this is my childhood favorite food then my son loves this so I have just taken 5 to 6 ingredients jaggery is optional again and I was using less number of pots so my goal is to make tasty and simple food like this is the most uh, spicy or maybe complex food I can call but now I have shown you how to make it more simpler so it's time for taste test this is how it looks and let me taste it's too hot Mmm, it's very very tasty. It tastes very good and this goes very well with rice or chapati or small millets or little millets. And this takes little time to cook but you are going to set up your time timer and just leave it. That's, that works. You don't have to mix it all the time. For full description look into the description box below and if you like the video share with your friends and subscribe my channel and see you with next video until then bye